everyone! Today's video, I'm going to be giving you all 10 pocket camp tips and tricks. So let's just get started. The first tip is to shake the trees with no fruit on. When you shake the trees in pocket camp, it's usually to collect fruit for villager requests. But actually, sometimes when you shake the trees without any fruit on, bells will fall out. This is a simple thing you can do daily while playing, just to earn a little bit of extra bells to help you pay off your loan at Go Motors. It's a nice throwback to doing this daily to earn bells in the original Animal Crossing games too. Luckily there's no bees that'll fall out and sting you in pocket camp though. <laughs> the second tip is to craft your amenities as soon as you can. This is something I find to be a bit annoying to do, but once you've done it, it'll help you out a lot and you'll feel much better. So, villagers friendship levels get locked at a certain point if you haven't crafted the correct amenity for their theme. For example, if you haven't crafted the modern tent, your friendship level with modern villagers, such as Fang or Alice, will be locked at level 7. If you're wondering why your friendship level isn't going up with villagers, this will be why. It's quite annoying to craft so many amenities, especially ones you don't want or care about. But it's really important because when your friendship goes up with villagers, so does your overall level. And when your level goes up, you unlock more villagers, more furniture and leaf tickets. So try to get this done as soon as you can, especially the amenities that your favourite villagers like. You can check this in the contacts section. So my third tip is to not use tickets for shovel strike quarry. So I'm sure you'll know this one, but just in case you didn't, do not use leaf tickets to get into shovel strike quarry. When my younger niece first started playing pocket camp, she made the mistake of using her leaf tickets to get in when she really didn't need to. It really isn't worth it because the rewards you get sometimes aren't much at all, but it's still worth it to collect without leaf tickets if you can. So to get into shovel strike quarry, you need to have five friends help you. If you don't have five friends that play regularly, you can walk around the different areas of the map and meet new people and add them. There are lots of people that play often and will help you out. If not, there are many Facebook groups where people add each other all the time. There are also lots of Pocket Camp accounts on Instagram that share their codes and play regularly. But if you don't use Facebook or Instagram, you can also go to the comment section of this video or any other Pocket Camp video and leave your friend code and people will gladly share their codes too and become friends with you. The Animal Crossing community is really friendly, so don't be afraid to try and make some friends. And if you like, you can even add my code. I've left it in the description of all my videos, so it's easy for you to find if you'd like to be friends. So to get into Shovel Strike Quarry, my best advice is to click the Ask for Help option as soon as you wake up. And by the time you're going to bed, you'll definitely have had enough people help you out. But remember to help out your friends too. So my fourth tip is special fruit trees. So in everyone's game, there are two fruit trees located at Lost Loyal Creek that are unique. You will either have lemons, grapes or lychee. This means that you may not have the same fruit trees in that area as one of your friends, and you'll have double the production of those two fruits. So the best thing you can do is remember to harvest those fruits every day and sell them in your market box. Make sure to buy fruits you don't recognise from your friends' market boxes too, because when gifting the special fruits that don't grow in your game to your villagers, your friendship level will increase even more than usual. My fifth tip is to spend leaf tickets wisely. My best advice for where to spend your leaf tickets is for the third crafting spot in the crafting tab and for extra inventory space. This way you can craft more furniture at once and it really comes in handy when trying to invite new villagers to your campsite. And it's a good idea to get more inventory slots so you can hold more items to fulfil more requests quicker and easier. You gain inventory slots as you level up to a maximum of 150. But you can actually spend 20 leaf tickets at a time to gain an additional 5 slots to a maximum of 250. Increasing your item storage is a really good idea when you want to collect enough resources for a quest without having to worry. My sixth tip is to create and link a Nintendo account to your game. So if you create a Nintendo account and link it to your game, it will keep all your saved data safely stored so that if you get a new phone or iPad, you can log in and restore all your data. But another reason to create an account is for the My Nintendo Rewards feature. Under the More section, you'll find a My Nintendo tab. In the Missions screen, you will find different tasks that you can complete to earn some points. You can then redeem these points for special clothing rewards and crafting materials, and the tasks are really simple to complete. It's really useful to go check how many tasks you've completed at least once a week and collect your points, because when you next run out of cotton or wood to craft furniture, you can trade points for more materials. My seventh tip is to store fruit on the ground. So I actually do this trick every single day. Fruit is one of the items you'll always need but it can clutter up your item space at the same time. If you shake a tree to get the fruit off, you can actually just leave it on the ground and store it there instead of in your pockets. This allows the timer for the fruit refresh to begin and you have 27 free storage spaces. This trick makes it so you always have fruit available when you need them for requests. My eighth tip is to craft only the necessary items. 
To have villagers stay at your campsite, there are some requirements. First of all, you need to have the required friendship level with the character. It's usually level 3 or 5, but once you've got that, you still need to craft the specific furniture that the character likes in order to invite them to your campsite. My advice is that when you unlock a new character you'd like to have in your campsite, click on their photo and click the favourite all furniture option. Do this with all your favourite characters you'd like to have. And then every day, go to your favourite section, it's the tab with the little star on it, and craft some furniture from this section. Since there's so much furniture in the game, this is a simple way to make sure you're only crafting necessary items in order to level up and get the exact characters you'd like to come to your campsite. My ninth tip is a pretty silly one, but it's to log in daily. So Pocket Camp has a daily login bonus. This is where you can earn more free leaf tickets. If you try to log in each day, you'll get closer and closer to get some tickets. This is the simplest and quickest way to make sure you're earning at least a little bit of leaf tickets, even if you can't play as often as you'd like. Another great way to earn leaf tickets is just by leveling up, but this is harder than just logging in. I know a lot of people have work or school and don't get to level up so often, but if you use the previous tips I've mentioned and complete as many requests as you can every day, you'll be sure to earn lots of leaf tickets. Even if you have school or work, try to at least log in when you get home so that you can earn as many leaf tickets as you can. My last tip is to explore Blathers maps. Another smart way to earn more tickets is by exploring Blathers maps. So while playing the game, you should unlock many maps, one of them being the Bunch of Bells map. This one is super important because you can earn over 50,000 bells. So my advice is, during the flower events each month, be sure to share as many bugs as you can with your friends, and try to water their flowers too. This will get you lots of friend powder, which is the material you need to roll the dice in one of these Bells maps. You can also use tickets, but for me personally, I just save up as much friend powder as I can and roll whenever I've saved up enough. That way I can spend my tickets on different exteriors for my campsite. After you've completed lots of these Bunch of Bells maps, you should then be able to afford to complete a leaf ticket map. It costs 30,000 Bells a roll, but you can earn some leaf tickets at the end of it. It's useful to try your best at this so that you can save up leaf tickets and craft more special items like Tom Nook's chair or Katie's sack on a swing. This way you can also afford to buy new exteriors and fences for your campsite and get it looking just the way you want. But that's all my tips for now. Feel free to leave your friend codes in the comments, mine will be in the description like I said, and feel free to leave any tips of your own or questions in the comments too because I try to answer all of them. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you on my next video. Bye!